Yeah, you know? and we loved it because this film has Ranvira in it. Yeah, that's the only that, reason we that, liked it. That's, that's all. That's the only that's reason the only... it's any good. Yeah, this film is good because of Ranvira. Yep, he was the best part of it. We did heroin before this. And coke. <laughs> and we're drinking coffee. Yummy. Today we're doing a movie review of the film that just released called Mimi, which subsequently is uh, Stephanie's grandmother's. That's what they call it. She calls her grandma. Mimi. Calls her Mimi. I bet there's a lot of grandmas called Mimi. Yeah, it's a common uh, expression in the South. And there's a good restaurant. Well, the restaurant itself is yeah, Okay, Mimi's. sorry, Mimi's, but their their biscuits are glorious. Yeah. Mimi's. You know, you used Hero. to call uh, going to sleep, going to club Mimi's. What? Yeah. Going to sleep? Yeah, when, when I was uh, growing up in like in youth group, we were said, hey man, you want to go to club Mimi's? Then I... <laughs> And that meant you it was a sleep. really dumb joke, but we loved it. Yeah. Anyways, uh, but yes, the the new film that just came out, um, I think it was Monday. It came out early, actually. Yeah, it surprised us. I believe it was leaked. Yeah, and wow. so they had to uh, they have to do that. Drop it. Uh, Anyways, don't pirate stuff. Uh, it's directed by say his name, uh, Lakshman Udakar, who was the cinematographer of English, 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 English. and has done a lot of. DOP, and I think this is only the second or third. Yeah, he's relatively new uh, yeah, for director. directing. Uh, composed by Air Rahman. Uh, who's that? I don't know. I don't know. And then starring uh, Dost. Dost. If you know, you know. And he does because he's our Dost. Uh, <laughs> and then also um, Creedy Sonnen. And uh, actually, quite a few other people. Ensemble. Uh, because uh, it's also the mom from. Um, uh, say her name. Uh, su su Supriya Pathik. Shahid's uh, yeah. stepmother. Right. Anyways, um, so, little non-spoiler review. Then we'll get to the spoiler review. This is one, it's, it's I don't want to say a light watch, but it's like more of a, um, I don't really know how to explain it without giving anything away. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we'll do so, the front end of this. If you've not seen the film, don't worry, we won't ruin it for you. We let the movie tell the story, and then we'll warn you, and you can come back after you've watched it and watch the rest yes. in the spoiler section. Your initial non-spoiler. Non-spoiler. Um, Mary Poppins had a phrase about herself, practically perfect in every way. Mm -hmm. um, this is almost practically perfect. I love this movie. Mm -hmm. For me, um, I, I'll be interested to see what you th what you say because I think one of the things in this that would be a negative for me wasn't as big of a negative because everything else was so absolutely fantastic that that this is actually for me of the new releases because obviously we review stuff that's been out a long time yeah, yeah. and then things that are the brand new fresh releases for me I added this to my favorite films of all time I, it's right up there for me with English of English it's one of my favorite it's my favorite film we've seen this year this year. This year. But you wouldn't put it in the best film of the year, in terms of like if it was. For that's like, very different. I know that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So obviously, if it's in your favorites, it'd probably be at the top, right? But if yes. it's like the you know we do at the end of the year, your best. Exactly. It's probably gonna more be Malak Joji. Yeah. Um, because this is not a film that's made for, and it shouldn't no. be. It's not film festival circuit. It's not gonna win awards, but it should win. It should win everybody's attention. You should see it. This is a film I think everybody can and should watch and would enjoy. I did really enjoy this film. It was also absolutely infuriating. I've never, not a spoiler, but I'll let you know this. I haven't been this angry uh, at a character or characters on screen since Joffrey. That's, yeah. I was furious. really furious. furious. We'll get into that. Yeah, so obviously. Furious. <laughs> just know, uh, obviously I didn't cry. Did you cry? I thought so. I thought you would Absolutely. Cry. I thought like you would a cry. baby. <laughs> I did not cry. But it definitely stirred up an, a very angry, angry emotion in me. And I don't want to give anything away. Um, so we'll wait. Yeah, I, got, I, I, I haven't, I haven't been that mad in a long time. All I will say, it's a very good film that I think you... It's, it's lighthearted most of the time. Oh, you're going <laughs> to laugh. Yeah. You're going to laugh a lot. Yeah. It's very funny. Our dost is... Oh my god, he's one of the greatest actors I've ever seen. Sir, you the bottom line is this. There are some actors who just will never do bad work 
and you're one of them. He, I actually equate the man to Robin Williams and how good he is at both. He can do everything. It, it's And it's one He's of the things I've, we've actor. said many times. You, very few actors, Daniel Day-Lewis cannot do comedy. If he can, I've never seen it. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> so like the actors that can do both, like obviously um, uh, Robin Williams, one of the most perfect examples of that. And obviously there's smaller, like Stanley Tucci and all these people like that, that can definitely do it. But like the really popular, Steve Carell. Yeah, but here's here's the here's the difference with, with Pankaj, okay? Um, and Manoj can do this too. Yeah, he can. Nawaz, we saw his comedy. Yeah, and, Nawaz can and, do this too. And, but here, uh, here's, the, here's the thing that blows my mind about Pankaj. He can, like, okay, I've talked about how De Niro can be a heavy and can do comedy, right? Mm -hmm. But the comedy that Pankaj does, his characters are so light years different yeah. than the other characters. If you see this character and then you go watch Mirzapur, where that man, just the click of his neck is intimidating. Yeah. And the weight of his presence is powerful and strong. And at any moment, you feel like something violent can happen. This man... Is is just a softy, the sweetest, just a sweet, and soft. He always brings. There's a couple. Kind there's man. a couple scenes that we'll get into in a minute, but he just, oh, he's amazing. I love. I don't want. I to, love his acting. I don't want to give uh, too much away. We'll give it to him. But just go watch the film. I think you'll enjoy. It. There's a few instances that I will say that I, I personally just wish they would have done differently. Uh, in terms of if I was making this film, I did not. So whatever. Um, but we'll get into that. Uh, I will say. This might be the best white actors we've ever seen. The bar is very low, though. That being said, <laughs> I'm not going to say they're good. Correct. <laughs> but the bar is incredibly low. And that's, that's when, that's when <laughs> she I... She was way better than he That's was. when I said um, um, it's almost practically yeah, perfect yeah. in every way. Because if, if those characters has, had been as good as everybody else, yeah. that, that's the one... She was way better than him. Yeah, and... and, and, and but and I think he was right because I think remember when we were talking to Pankaj and we were mentioning white actors. He might have been, been thinking about I think about he that. was referring to this because Probably. this is, and there's it's not saying much, guys. And it really has gotten me to the to the point of like, I know we're expensive when we're sad. Yeah, you get what you pay for. Yeah, uh, these guys were sad. That's why it's the better of the white actors that we've seen. <laughs> So, but if they were also in an American film, I would have said they probably they weren't that great. Yeah, and it's but because the bar's so low. Because the bar's so low, I will say they were the best uh, white actors we've seen so far. Creedy, who plays Mimi. Yeah, fantastic. This is okay. The last time there's there's three actresses. Uh, yeah. Uh, do we want to just do this in spoilers? Well, I'm not going to give anything away. Okay. So we'll, let's go to the spoiler okay. right after this. Here's my. Uh, there were three actresses that we saw in the moment, real time, that we hadn't known. Yeah. Right? And mm -hmm. who were really just beginning as well. That when we saw them, we were like, okay, that's somebody who's pretty special. The first one was Alia. Yeah. Right? Yeah, absolutely. The next one, I think you'll agree, that, had, that we were seeing in something in the moment. Okay? So, like, Kalki doesn't count. Radhika doesn't count. Because yeah. we'd seen older work of theirs. Uh, Kubra Sait. In Sacred uh, yeah, Games, sure, right? She blew us away. Yeah. Right? I feel exactly the same yeah. way with her in this. Yeah. She and was I, absolutely fantastic. And I heard, one, she's relatively new. Uh, and also, she wasn't known for her in her previous stuff that she's done. People are like, she's not, she's not any, worth anything, essentially. Love Clearly, her. she just didn't have the opportunity to shine. Or the yeah, right writing, the right, or writing, the right whatever. She was fantastic. Absolutely. You got the perfect person to incarnate the title character of this thing. There's not a moment I didn't believe she was who she was. There wasn't a moment I didn't care about her. I absolutely, she, they knocked it out of the park with her in the role. Just go watch the film uh, and then come back. We're going to do spoilers now. Yep. Uh, it's definitely worth a watch. Uh, yeah. I will get into Please more support of the, the details of some of the stuff that I just I just wish was changed a little bit. Now it's spoiler time. But it will make you furious. Absolutely flames on the side of your face. Let's talk about angry. that. Okay, here are the spoilers. So remember the time mark here. Come back if you haven't seen it. Uh, oh let's talk about what made us angry, shall we? Because I know it's the exact same thing. And I think it's actually... the Here's the, the reason it gets you mad is not just because of what's going on in the story, but because of what it metaphorically yeah. represents oh, so yeah. go ahead rant i'm with you the fact that bastards 
Yeah. Oh. I, I, I get what, the, obviously, it's good that they, they told this story. Because it happens all the time. It's yes. a very true thing that happens. Yes. And I did read, as well, that this happened to India a lot before it got outlawed. Um, so I'm guessing, because obviously, if this situation happened, a surrogate, and people that do surrogacy is, is, is so fantastic. It's, it's a such, wonderful gift. such a beautiful, selfless thing to do Correct. Uh, for, by somebody. Absolutely. Um, but obviously here, uh, we have laws against to just... If something happens to a child, you can't just say, abandon it without any repercussions. So let's talk about yeah. that first of all, because yeah. I know this happens. What kind of an absolute piece of crap do you have to be to suddenly discover that because you, the kid you're going to have has downs, you're going to abandon it? Yeah, or want to kill it or whatever. It's absolutely an uh, abhorrent thought, right? Um, because one... That's not a death sentence. Exactly. Okay? Whether they have Downs, autism, whatever the case may be, a deformity, whatever. It's they're a child and or they're a your being. child. Exactly. You will love that child yes. regardless. Yes. You are a selfish piece of shit. Yes. If you do not. Yes. <laughs> Uh, on, top so, of, on top of not thinking about the person you put the baby inside and, of. And that was for the whole thing that they do. Because, so, that in and of itself, when they run away, I, I like, I, I couldn't believe. And that's how well-written, directed, and acted everything was. Yeah. Because I deeply cared mm -hmm. about these people. I especially deeply cared about yeah. Mimi and what this meant to her life. But obviously, when they came back. When they showed up unannounced, oh. I wanted to break something. My wife was yelling at the screen. My I God. wanted to break something. And it was at that moment I thought, I haven't hated someone on screen this much since Joffrey. Yeah. Where I literally want to see them disemboweled live in front of me. Yes. They're, 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 toward the end of the film, when they're walking to the airport, yeah. I was I so badly wanted just, I was like, please let Pankaj just go full Merzipur right now yeah. and shoot them. Yeah. Absolutely. <sighs> yeah. Uh, it, was, it was absolutely, and I was like, I was like, this is a lighthearted Indian film. There's no way it's going to end with them giving up the child. But they just kept going, kept going. And I don't know if I, I liked the ending, per se, um, totally. Even though I was happy they didn't get the child. 100%. 100% happy they didn't get the child. I, I, I was actually upset that they got a child in the first place. Because they're going to abandon this child just like they did that child when anything happens. Because they're fucking assholes. <laughs> I, oh, God. It makes me so upset. <laughs> but the fact that they just was like... We found this baby. We don't care about that one anymore. <laughs> Remember when we didn't care about it before? The same thing happened. So I don't know that I liked that. I like that they didn't get the child. I just, uh, what, I didn't want them to get it. They'll any. be on the plane with her and she'll say something and she'll have a lisp. Turn the plane around. Yeah. We don't I, didn't keep want, this one. I didn't want these people to get anything except jail and death. Uh, <laughs> well, and here's, here's what it enraged I feel bad me. for that little girl now. I was enraged on three levels. I was enraged for the story itself and what they were doing that was so incredibly selfish. So incredibly selfish. But well written because obviously well written. it's supposed to be that way. Right. This is a true thing that happens. Right. And that's the second level yes. for me. These things have happened many, many times they over. They often. And that's the larger thing for me is I felt that this, this movie in that section in very much a way is a, is a, is a, a, a metaphor for the way white people have treated India. Mm-hmm. Just considered it nothing but a commodity. Yeah. Done whatever the hell they wanted to do with it for their own means under the guise of this is going to be good for you. Yeah. Because this was under the guise of it's going to be good for you. Mm -hmm. Money. But yeah. when ultimately it's not good for the white person, oh, well, we trump you. Yeah. But then they're like, we can come back and take whatever we want. Exactly. Because, because we've got the power, we've got the money. Yeah. Um, that for me was one of the most heartbreaking aspects of it because... It had, it had the level of, I care about these people in this story. I care about the stories this represents. And then ultimately, when they were driving in the car, and they're crying, and, and the grandma and the dad, and, and the whole cast was so, so good. Yeah. I, I thought, this is India, man. This is India's history. They've done nothing wrong. They've attacked nobody. Yeah. They, they have in, done in stuff that, wrong. In that regard. In that regard. Okay. In that regard. <laughs> in that regard. These people did nothing wrong. And... Here they are, and when it comes to Britain, yeah, <laughs> you know what white people have done. Oh yeah, Winston Churchill. Yeah, uh, 
it, it, it was so, so well done. And I don't know if they intended that to be part of the, the, the dynamic, but it was really powerful. Yeah, and it was, it was hard to watch, because obviously, if, if this situation, it really couldn't happen without a bunch of repercussions and, and legal action happening to the parents for abandoning a child, because it's child abandonment at that point. Here, and, here in America, in if, America, if, if they were like, we don't want any more because it has downs, it's, it's child abandonment. <laughs> also, there's a contract. <laughs> so that that does happen. Two, if he's four years old, um, th so the Mimi would have obviously gone through the process of adopting this child because obviously it's technically not hers. So right when they abandoned them, there would have been paperwork. And so these people would now have zero legal um, opportunity to take this child back because mm -hmm. it's no longer theirs. Right. It's, it is Mimi's because right. the, the paperwork is regardless of if it's biologically theirs. It doesn't matter. Obviously, at the time that they were taking place in this, it's happened a lot to India. I've been told that they banned this now, and so it can't, this kind of thing. Surrogacy? No, like, um, t there's rules and laws to protect, Good. like, to protect the surrogate mama. Yes. Good. Um, and all that kind of stuff. Good. Uh, one of the issues that I would have changed, I would have preferred if they would have actually kept the child a Downs kid. Um, <laughs> one, to kind of get rid of the taboo of that, and also... Would they have come back if the kid did have downs? <laughs> um, and an so interesting point. I, I, it was just, I thought it was, I didn't like that it was just like, oh, the baby's fine. It was, that was just, it was a false name, which do happen often. They actually, my wife told me, she was like, they do tell you basically don't take the test because there's so much I, that's wrong with the test. Right. So it's very that's probable true. that a lot that of people could, don't do it. Right. Very probable that that could happen. Here's but it's just, I, if I was doing this, I would have kept the kid uh, uh, actually uh, down. Here's why. Here's why I like it, and I, I'm sure the writers talked about that aspect and made a choice. And I bet it could have gone either way because I can see pros to, to both. Yeah. The reason I like him being kept that way <clears throat> is because it's a big f you to the American parents. Mm. It, it gives them a big see. See, if he if he's born with Downs. You don't get to give them that. Look at how look at how selfish you were that you were willing to give up on a kid when he didn't even have the I challenge. You gave up on him. Get done that. It would have been now. I think the, done that. I didn't see the twist mm -hmm. coming. I oh, I thought the way this is felt, they're gonna they're, she, Mimi's gonna keep Raj. Yeah, Mimi's gonna keep Raj. So how's this gonna happen? And my hope was. I love the movie so much, I would have been forgiving, but I really didn't want it to be just so simple where they show up at the airport and they're like, we had a change of heart. I didn't want it to be that simple. So I didn't see the twist coming of adoption. That is where I had already had my emotions here, right? When I see John with the Indian girl and I know that they're adopting, waterworks. <laughs> I was done no. and was crying till the credits. Which I, Amazon, Amazon, by the way, if anybody at Amazon can do this, stop showing me previews of some other show when I'm only 60 seconds into the credits. I like watching all of the credits and seeing everybody who participated in the creative output. Stop doing it. Yeah, Jeff Bezos, put your money on that, not your Good penis rocket. Grief. <laughs> I've already got enough, and it was a penis rocket. I've already <laughs> got enough of you advertising to me nonstop. The, the whole film, it didn't stop just because of the credits. The film is over when the credits are over. Yeah, uh, I had a different reaction. I, I loved the adoption I aspect. Was, uh, I was very upset at the adoption. I aspect. thought you would be. I, was I, it too simple, too easy for you? That, and also I didn't want them to have anything. I don't think they deserve a child. I think they are garbage people that deserve death. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's where for me, for me, no. I would rather see no, because now I feel bad for them. They're going to abandon that child. And you tell me this diarrhea. No, they're going to be like, no, I can't handle a kid with diarrhea. No, because for me, I feel Hate like them. the moral to the story for them was... We're trash. They saw the error of their ways and repented and won't make the same mistake again. That was my belief in the yeah, I don't. I didn't yeah. want them to get anything. Anyways, let's get into the other parts of the story. Okay. <laughs> we kind of went on a rant about the entire thing there. <laughs> Sorry about that. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know if you did. Uh, but yeah, Pankaj, oh my God. Uh, we'll get back on him. Um, <laughs> I love this man. One, he brings a, a, a innocence to his characters that you, he, it's just a level, even in Mizapur, you kind of like, I still like you. You're right. I still like he's you. He's a very likable person. Um, but especially when he's playing a character like this, 
where he's just the scene where he was told that they wanted to get rid of the baby. Yes. And he was like, what? Please, please don't do this. Yes. Please don't. And he was like crying. And he's yes. like, if this, if this little baby was mine and my wife's, yeah, they would the, cherish this a child. Which was a really good thing for the writers to do. Yeah. Make him a childless Obviously, man. he was so authentic in all of these moments. Yeah. And he was so believable and so, like, oh yeah. Watching great acting is just one of the most enjoyable things ever. Uh, <laughs> agreed. <laughs> agreed. And which is why we rave about it so much. It's just... Because when it's good, it's oh, one of the best. And I, and I, sir, our dost, I see what you do. You know how to do comedy mm -hmm. and get right on the edge of it being, a, it, it, it never gets there. But you, in a, in a movie like, like this where everything is supposed to be real and grounded, you're still good enough and aware enough of your, your comedy aspects to do something purely because you know it worked comedically, but still let it be genuine and natural and come from an organic place. Especially that moment when he was talking to the guy who's like asking him and grilling him about all these questions to see if he's really a Muslim. Mm -hmm. And he's telling him, walk. Well, when you walk, you walk like this and you do this. And then he's like, eh. and he has another idea. He's right on that, that edge of becoming, if he, if he just added five more percent, he's playing for the laugh and yeah. you don't want to do that. No. That's how, He's as good as they get, man. Yeah, he is as absolutely good as they get. Incredible. And just like like this, Ludo, obviously he was hilarious, but very different character. But he never he never plays for the shtick. Like, you know, Jim Carrey, obviously. Jim Carrey is the shtick. And he does but, it on purpose, and we all love him for it. It's amazing. Exactly. It's, a, it's an amazing shtick, and we all it's love Jerry it. Lewis. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, like, his style of comedy is just so freaking... It's the best. It's Groundlings really? comedy, because it's all coming... He's not playing for the laugh, even though he knows it's funny. Yeah. That's what I meant. Uh, now, her, yeah, again. She was fantastic. Uh, I, I hope she gets more opportunities in the future, because I know, like I said, uh, she was more known... She wasn't really known as an actor. So I'm guessing she just didn't get the opportunity because she shined in this. Absolutely shined. Yeah. I, I was, every moment she was on screen, I believed her, I cared about her from the moment she's flirting with her Ranveer poster. <laughs> yeah, you know? and we loved it because this film has Ranveer in it. Yeah, that's the only that, reason we liked that's, it. That's, that's all. That's the only that's reason the only... it's any good. Yeah, this film is good because of Ranveer. Yep, he was the best part of it. <laughs> That's um, the intro. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that should be the intro. Uh, I, I'm so excited. Uh, and I think there's maybe something even prophetic in that scene where she's looking at all the stars on her wall and saying, I'm coming to get you. I'm going to be with you. If there aren't people wanting to scoop her up, I looked at her IMDb page. She has only one thing right now in pre-production. She should have 10. Yeah. Uh, she's wonderful. Yeah. And it's interesting she does look tall, and they talked about her being tall, but that's because five, seven and a half is really, really tall. Yeah. Uh, she, she didn't have a false moment. I thought her labor scene was 100% believable. Mm -hmm. I saw on her face the head and shoulders coming out. I mm -hmm. saw that going over the top aspect. I believed every single thing she was going through. I was mad with her, mm -hmm. and that's a credit not just to her, which she deserves an enormous amount of credit, but this is incredibly well written. Yeah, really, really well written. It must have been a joy, hands down, to the to, writers to and the have director. the script and be able to work on this. And project. I did notice it was, and I, that was before I even realized that he was part of English or English. I was comparing it to English to English. I was like, this is very like there's the, same a, heart. a great message, a great heart behind it. Yep. But it was very shot very similarly as well to English or English. And obviously, when I found out, I was like, that makes a lot of sense. I loved her parents. I loved them. I love seeing this side of, uh, um, 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 say her name. I don't want, I need to know her name. Uh, Supriya Pathak. Supriya, uh, whom we loved in Ram Lila. We, she, we couldn't rave enough about I her in, in Ram Lila. She's a great actress. She showed a different side of it here. Yeah. Her comedic side. Yeah. More like, uh, but still just as good. Still just as believable. And all of the confusion, and it just kept piling yeah. on. That whole scene was hilarious. Hilarious. When his wife finally shows up yeah. and they look at the kid, that's your kid? No. And who's the dad? Wait, he has three wives? No, 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 no. Brilliant. Bunkaj was just... Brilliant. <laughs> just brilliant writing. Yeah. Um, I, the, 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 the white guy was a little, a little weird. 
to me a lot of the times. <laughs> but like I said, they were probably the best white actors we've seen. Outside of maybe that one in Syrah that, that died really early on that we liked a lot. Yeah, and also, I'll never forget, it was a very, very small role, but in um, Rang de Basanti. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, we yeah. really liked him a lot. Um, but, once again, they're SAG, so it, it makes sense that they're the best we've seen. Um, yeah, what you pay for. But um, and, I just felt that they weren't at, on the same level as everybody else. No, but it was great that she knew Hindi. Like, yes. fully. I thought she, that, that her strongest things were actually when she was actually in Hindi, I believe. Yeah. Um, so that was, that was good to see. I enjoyed that. No, part. and I agree. And it, it's, they, they weren't, um, it's, it's hilarious that she is higher on the star meter than like Supriya. Oh, I know. I know. That's, <laughs> we might be higher than some of them, which we, is ridiculous. I know. We actually are. And it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Stupid. It's ridiculous. Anyway, go on. But they are. They were, um, as we saw in the trailer, we were like, ah. and thankfully. Yeah. They we, didn't ruin it, and that's they good. They didn't ruin it. That's good. That's, no. that's all I can ask. And that is and the is only thing about this that, that doesn't make it like absolutely perfect is that comparatively, I didn't feel as enamored by their performances as everybody else. Yeah, I was enamored with everybody else, including her best friend. Yeah, she was um, great. Have she, we seen her before? She looked... No, and she's got a huge resume. Does she? Yes, she's done a lot that we've seen her in some trailers probably, but she's, she, you know who she reminded me of sometimes? Mm. Both in just her screen presence, but also her believability and her skill level was Tilo, uh, Tilo Tama. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, she did great. Everybody did so good. The writing was fantastic. Oh, hey, Roman. That was the other thing I had to mention. Great songs. <laughs> there was all great, over the music. Great big Bollywood number right at the beginning with uh. With yes, and he, but he also because it's Air Roman, man. He's gonna give you exactly what you need on the funny quirky things, and give you funny quirky music. He's gonna get a theme that he's gonna be able to interweave throughout. He's gonna give you what you want on big musical numbers, and. That's that for me too. I thought it was a wonderful inclusion to introduce her as not just the actress, but for us to be introduced to her the way the couple were as a dancer. Mm -hmm. Because when that number started and we're really getting to see her for the first time, I was hooked immediately. I was like, wow, this girl is captivating. I'm, I really want to get to know who this person is. Yeah. Uh, A.R. Rahman, what, he's a, he gave you exactly what you need. For this film, yeah, this film was a, a wonderful surprise. Well, not not obviously we liked it from the trailer, but like I didn't, the I first didn't time I heard about it was a week ago. I didn't when expect we saw it the trailer. Good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was expecting like, oh, that was a, a, a nice, film. a fun romp. Yeah, yeah. But it was like a wonderfully enjoyable, furious film with a lot of heart. Yeah, a lot of heart. So uh, make more of these and, and a great message. Oh, also, I I did hear this is a kind of an adaption of a Marathi film. Oh, so okay. um, I did hear that. So I know some of you are going to scream that in the comments. I do know that. I'm sorry we haven't seen it. I just heard about this one a week ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I hear that's more of a dramatic take as opposed to this one, obviously, focused okay. more on the, on the, the rom-com. The rom-com feel. Well, not really rom, but more of the com uh, in, yeah, in this one. It feels like a rom-com. But I loved, and I, I loved at the very, very end, the, the final quote when it said there's enough children that need to be adopted that it could make up nine countries there's like 125 million orphans yeah um so, oh, it breaks my heart but yeah let us know what you thought about the film and uh what should be uh, we need to watch all of pankaj's stuff we'll watch everything he does uh, and anybody from this anybody from this from sai tamhankar who played her best friend and from uh creedy creedy yeah my anything she's in, I want to see. Yeah, I believe in her. Um, and uh, and and Supriya, of I course. Love, I love you. And anytime, I mean, this is what second or third time he's directed something. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Keep directing. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Ramon, keep composing. You're you're gonna go get there. At one least day. just this. You probably found your groove with the rom com thing. Just stick to your stick to what. Let you us know. know what you thought about the film down below.